What's up guys, it's Sienna and welcome back to C Caesar. So today we got pretty much reveals the most romantic thing they've ever done for a girl and I'm super excited y'all because y'all know how I feel about pretty much, y'all know how I feel about a man's gesture towards I just love, I love when a guy does something romantic for a girl that they like or a girl that they love because it's just like, oh my gosh, like you just picture like, man, I wish somebody would freaking do this to myself. And a lot of people would feel like that's depressing, but I feel like, um, it's just like something that I am looking forward to or, or working towards I don't know I don't I, am I mentally torching myself I don't know I don't I don't know I, I don't think so but anyway it doesn't even matter y'all let's just go ahead and get into it out here hanging out with pretty much we're gonna talk about their EP get all of the tea hanging out with all of their fans Everybody? yes Woo! I need to be a part of one of let's these things in. how do you know when these things are going but I live in Oklahoma it's probably never gonna happen here whatever who cares? I care, but whatever. All right, pretty much. What up, guys? Woo! Hey. Woo! The ceiling. Woo! Let's go to the ceiling. We're uh, here. I'm, Out here. I'm too tall. We're on a bus. I'm too We're on tall. a bus. We're on a school bus. Couldn't tell. Um, screaming fans here for you guys today. What is, like, how yep. cool is that? I mean, it's awesome. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. Y'all the best. And they've been here all morning waiting for you guys. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. I'm waiting for us, too. Cool That's thing. cool. Oh, right? Phases just released. You guys, it's yeah. a bop. Thank it's you, like man. really good. I've been Thank playing it in my car. So hey. good. Um, talk to me about it. It's a little romantic. Yeah. A little, oh, yeah. you know, tell me about it. Uh, this girl, she was, uh, she was trying to explain to me the concept of like right person, wrong time. Uh -huh. And yeah, she she basically this said background that, music uh, is a vibe. Like, uh, she already met her one true love and that um, she's gonna have to go through a bunch of bad decisions in order to make to realize who the good one was. Yeah. So then I was like, yo, uh, that's a bunch of like noise, but that's I like a bunch that of noise, concept, yeah. so I'm gonna take that in. Yeah, Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> and it worked. Literally. It totally worked. Um so speaking of romance on the theme i want to know are you guys like what's the most romantic thing you've ever done i don't know if it's romantic or just that. expensive okay but just i took a tr i took a hundred dollar uber once for a female whoa that's some serious yeah, dedication like, that's nice that's, <laughs> that's, that's that is dedication to a girl. from one from one borough to the next borough you were like you up and then oh. <laughs> i didn't want to i just didn't want to take the train because it took it, it's like a two and a half hour trip so i was like you know what i'm just gonna take a uber and pay the price so i am feeling like price. you're maybe the most hopeless romantic cheesiest of the group oh right? is he? Someone? Say something cheesy. what were you gonna say, say okay it. what are you gonna yeah, say little, I, I say it's cheesy because it was a long time ago if i were to do it now it'd probably be you know kind of dope i wrote a song for a girl and then like sang it to her and like i flew oh, yeah. out to new york and, like sang it to oh, her in times square God. Like, what yeah, you're a cornball for them that's so that's no what I'm saying. I was, like, yeah, but... yo mom can i go fly like, ah! to new york to sing a song like yeah right for a girl <laughs> that is so okay, sweet yeah. talk to me about it tell me about it what's the vibe fill me in I liked what somebody said. I was reading through because we had a listening party in New York and the UK, and so I was just mm -hmm. reading a, a few of what people were saying. One of them was like, they said like tropical. They said like a little bit more emotional. They said real. Yes. Like it, all, all, this is all like authentic stuff. This is the yeah. first time we've really got to like be a part of like making of. Like it's it's gonna be our first produced written song on the EP, fully by us, and then like all the songs we've like. Yeah, I heard like well, I saw one girl say that like. This was a very mature EP. Oh, I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. It is mature. Like we really it actually is. put like work into it's it. Like real. it, it there's and then, a lot of thought that goes into it. And it it's is mature. Us, so. It's good to hear. And I, I heard. That. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. It's I so can't wait. Good. I really can't he wait. He said it's so freaking good. I, I heard good. one of the bands say so that uh, the last song on the EP was a gospel masterpiece, and that made me so happy. I was like, yes, yes. it's wow. a gospel oh, masterpiece. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah man. Oh, yeah. I love it. Like every time I'm driving in the car, like, and we reach a point in in like the hills where you, there's no service and you can't go on Apple Wait, Music what's Spotify. the? I just play the EP on my notes. What's the last song? Now I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna be sending you guys some reaction videos of me listening to yeah. it, song by song. Yeah. Hard. I'm gonna give you my play by play, okay? Hard. Another thing I've been noticing, you guys have like famous friends, like where like you're living with the life. <laughs> like, Selfies famous with friends. James Corden, Let's Cara Delevingne, <laughs> Rebel Wilson. One shot. Right. 
person to me, or the coolest person. I've been, my my, honestly, Cara is so my, sick. Cara is so nice. Person, I, yeah, I just I, love talking like, with celebrity. She's I, so I say, normal and down to earth. I, so I, I have a picture of this. I haven't posted it. Uh, I have a picture of me and Lil Dicky. When I met him, he introduced himself as Dave Bird, and I just thought that was funny as hell. Like, oh, he's just so that's proper. pretty funny. I mean, we don't really like hang out with him, but like we know each other, and like when we see each other, like it's always that like you know, just cool vibe. But uh, MGK, I mean, he used to live like Ooh, MGK. Where, where we used to yeah. live. He used to live like right up the block, and like we just have mutual friends, like barbers and stuff. And he's just like a cool, down to earth guy, he's just mm. mad chill. And I, I think, MGK is so you know, cute. He's a lot different than maybe what people see him as. Yeah, sure. for sure. MGK is one of the nicest cool. people, like, for sure, in general. True. Maybe an MGK collab soon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe. Wow. 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 That's a good one. I'm not going to lie, he All killed right, it in uh, The Dirt. Is that what it's called? Uh, so you good. I saw, I saw it. it. It was so good. It was, it was Thank you guys so much. This is so fun. Shout out yeah. to the fans. Shout this out to you guys. So I feel like that was so short. It was so short lived. Like now I'm like sad. I wish I wish everybody would have said the most romantic thing because I don't know, Brandon. But after Brandon said what his was, I think everybody kind of got intimidated. Like, oh well, um, yeah, mine isn't gonna be like as like you know, like mine isn't gonna be like the most romantic because yeah. But the hundred dollar Uber ride, it was cool. It was cool, but you know, you know what? It shows that you care. It shows that you're like, you know what? I really gotta see her, even if I gotta pay this hundred dollars to, to take this Uber because. Oh, the good question would have been, was it $100 there and back, or was it 50 there, 50 back? Because that is the real question. Ooh, dang. I didn't even think about that, because if that if, if it was a $200 Uber ride, you really care. Like, you know, like, ooh, ooh, if somebody took a $100 Uber ride from me, I'd be like, oh my goodness, you really, you really care about me? And at this point, like, we should just get married because you love me, I love you, you know, you took this over. You know, like that's so like it shows that you care. But girl, you writing a song for me is one thing. That's one thing. I'ma love you just because you wrote a song for me. But if you write a song for me, and notice how my eyes is closed because bro, like I'm feeling it. Look, I'm I'm tapping this on the table like, ooh man, you write a song for me. Not only do you fly to New York for me, you sing it to me in Times Square. I'm yours for life. Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know what you could do wrong that would make me mad at you at that point. Like, oh my gosh, like, like I can't believe you did this for me. You love me so freaking much. I love you so much more, like, oh! But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all need to react to and blue hearts and joy.